Hi, my name is Gabriel Agarucci and I am your host. And you might've noticed two things if you've been here before. One is that things look a little bit different around here. My background is different. My whole setting is different. And number two, you probably noticed I haven't put up a video in probably about a week. It's because I moved myself and my wife, we moved to a different city last week and I've been taking a break, right? <laughs> With all the moving and still working and just settling in the new place, just wanted to take a chance to, you know, decompose or, or take away a bunch of the stress and just take a little bit of a break. But I am back, we are back, and we are again, normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. So welcome back, and let's just get right into the subject. Because the subject today is something that's very interesting. It is how to get cybersecurity skills for free. Oh my God, wow! No, I did not lie. I did not say anything weird. You can get cybersecurity skills for free. And here today in this video, I'm gonna tell you about that. But I do wanna take you through a step-by-step -step process on getting those free resources, but also understanding first, what skills do you really need, need to have? Or what skills do you wanna have for yourself? So we're gonna start off with number one. The number one thing that you need to do in getting these free skills is to first perform a skill gap assessment on yourself. So look at yourself. You wanna become a cybersecurity professional or you already are a cybersecurity professional, or you might be transitioning into cybersecurity. You need to understand what skills you bring to a job, to a role, to an organization, or just to cybersecurity industry as a whole. So you wanna look at yourself and say, hey, ask the question, what do I wanna do in cybersecurity or what do I wanna do better in cybersecurity? That's the first thing. Typically that comes in the form of saying, hey, do I wanna do offensive cybersecurity or defensive cybersecurity? Do I wanna um, be on the attack where I'm finding vulnerabilities, finding threats, finding malware, or do I wanna be on the defense mainly where I'm protecting organizations, people, um, systems from different vulnerabilities and defending them against the bad guys? So that might be the breakdown that you might have initially, offensive versus defensive when deciding what you wanna do. Um, the next thing that you wanna do is make a list. Make a list of what those things are and say, hey, if I wanna be a penetration tester, then I need to learn how to do web application penetration testing. I need to know how to create my own exploits. I need to know how to automate different exploits and automate different attacks within organizations. Um, but if you're on a defensive side, I might wanna do things like understanding the different SIM or security incident and event management systems within the field. Or I might wanna learn how to do log analysis or packet capture analysis. So you wanna make a list of things that you need to do or that you wanna do and then understand what gaps you have. I see what I wanna do. I see the things associated with what I wanna do. Now you need to decide what do I not know how to do and how do I wanna get there? <laughs> that was a little twister. You wanna decide what things do I not know how to do and what do I need to get to that point? And then from there, once you know what you wanna do, you have your list of the things that you need to do. Now you wanna jump on Google or YouTube and understand where do I get that, right? So it's a little bit before you jump into the free resources, but now we're going to number two, where we're looking at the free resources that I wanna to recommend to you that I have seen and I've utilized in the field. So let's jump right over to it. Here, we're gonna start with our first free resource and it comes in the form of a YouTube channel. Um, it's freecodecamp.org, they have a website, but I'm referencing you right here to the YouTube channel. They have a whole plethora of tech um, videos, hours and hours long, that allow you to get some of those tech skills, but today we're focusing in on cybersecurity. So I wanna reference you here, where they have actually like a little search bar here all the way to the right. And then I just want you to, well actually, let's go over videos first. And then search under the search bar and then just put in cyber security. You can put in one word, cyber security, right, right there. And then press enter and then boom. You have a list of cybersecurity classes, cybersecurity trainings that might align to that list that you initially formulated. So we were talking about penetration testing, or it can also be ethical hacking, right? So it says here they have a 14 hour long class, which has over 5.2 million views, which says full ethical hacking course for network penetration testing for beginners. Now this is from 2019, but you can go in here and see that they have things that are from years ago or things that are more recent, things that they've most more recently uh, posted. Things about network programming and Python course, it probably has some security in there. Another one we were mentioning was that as web application penetration tester. So I wanna leave this in your hands and to you to see um, of the things that might be on your list where free code camp might be able to fill in those gaps. Let's go to our second resource here. Second resource, free training is from cybrary.it. 
Cyberary is well known and has been known for years to give free resources for cybersecurity skills. So here you see I'm signed into my account. They have a free account, but they also have an account that's paid. Um, it's like a monthly fee, which isn't anything too crazy. Um, you can go to the website and see what those rates and prices are. But here you see that this is my free account. Um, I've dabbled into some different things, developing ethical hacking tools with Python, penetration testing and ethical hacking. But you can even go even further and see the ones that you want to do specifically. They have things called choose your career path, where they have things where you can choose a career path for if you want to become a SOC analyst, a security operations center analyst. That's more on the blue team or the defensive side. They have different levels, right? The SOC Analyst 2 here, but they also have the SOC Analyst 3. And another one that we were talking about, right? Become a penetration tester or cybersecurity engineer. What do those career paths look like? Here, let me click on one for, let's just say the cybersecurity engineer. It's gonna go over this quickly and then we'll go to our next resource. So now they have the ability where you're able to enroll in that and they give an outline of what you, of the classes that are within this career path. So they'll welcome you to it, give some fundamentals. They'll tell you about monitoring, scanning of different environments and systems. They even go over some certification training here. So heavily recommended, cyberary.it. All of these resources will be in the description. I think it's over to the right now, right? So these will all be in the description. So don't worry if I'm going too fast through through here. I want to go to our third resource, which is Rompers Academy or Roppers or Ropers Academy. I'm Hopefully I'm saying it correctly. But I found them when I was on Twitter. And they have a great free resources for cybersecurity training. So they have a Twitter account, but I do want to go here to their website. And their website pretty much tells, starts off by telling of the story that in 2016, um, uh, that they were a training officer for schools for competitive cybersecurity team. They wanted to help people get up in their capture the flag capabilities. And they pretty much created all of these free resources for individuals trying to get into cybersecurity. And this is the team. I, I, I believe this is the founder, uh, this, the gentleman, Dennis Davey, if that's the correct um, mentioning of his, his name. But great, right? So let's go a little bit into what that looks like. They have here um, foundational classes. And again, like it says, free. So let's just look at the security fundamentals one very quickly. So this one, it says the best introduction to cybersecurity. It goes into theory, technical examples and tutorials. So you can go in here and register for this course. And it even gives you an outline or a syllabus of what you'll be learning. Right. Intro, passwords, who are you tracking, update your computer scanning. And then it gets into some very cool things like how hacking works. Right. Cyber kill chain. That's a big buzzword in cybersecurity post exploitation. After somebody has gained access to your device or your system, what do they do in exploiting the vulnerabilities there? And look into malware types, whether you're talking about ransomware, which is very popular today, or you can talk about things like adware or spyware that organizations or bad guys put on people's computers. So you'll get into a whole bunch of this stuff, even phishing cases, right? Those phishing emails, those annoying phishing emails, which are pretty successful for enterprise cybersecurity attacks. So you get into all of these. And again, like I mentioned, this is all free all free, free resources. That's the third resource there. But next, we're going to go into something different, something with a little bit of a twist. I've given you free resources that you can find on the internet. I've told you that you need to provide a list of skills and things that you need to do. But I think the third way that's free that I've taken great advantage of is utilizing the organizations that you work for in order to get free cybersecurity certifications. So one thing that I have done very heavily is never paid for a cybersecurity certification out of pocket. I've um, invested in utilizing the SANS certification. And for those who know about the SANS certification, each one of those certifications today, it's probably around five, six, seven, sometimes $8,000 per certification. Cause you have to go through the training class and then you also have to get the books and the resources in order to sit for the exam. So each one of those certifications range anywhere between like five and $8,000. And I've never paid for one of those. Bro, what are you talking about, man? And I have four of those uh, SANS certifications and I'm working on my fifth right now. And the way that I've been able to do that is that I have gotten the organizations I've worked for to pay for those certifications. How have I done that? Let me show you. So what I have done is that I do something within my organization and it's called a training request letter or a training request within my organization. So I've worked in these cybersecurity type of roles. And one thing that I always do when I come into that organization is notice where there are gaps. Notice where we might need a person that needs to learn how to automate 
using Python, certain cybersecurity scripts to perform some type of action, right? Or somebody who might need some understanding of forensics for host devices, for Windows host devices. The thing about it is that all of these skills, a lot of times are roped up within certification exams and certification training. So this is what I do. So this is a link or a article on Glassdoor, which I highly um, recommend you all to read. It says how to write a training request letter. So pretty much you can go through this to get more inf information about it, but let me give you the short of it. I have utilized uh, training re request letters submitted those to my uh, direct manager or supervisor and have gotten my organization to pay for these certifications. Every group that you work for typically has some type of training budget, right? Because they have certain tasks and things to accomplish and they might notice that that skill set is not current within their group or within their organization. So, you know, executive leaders who have access to the funds, they are the ones that say, hey, we're gonna give you a certain training amount in order to train your people so that we can become more efficient at um, doing our cybersecurity things or doing our tech things. And this is exactly what this letter is for. So read this glass Glassdoor um, request letter, but also I wanna reference you to something that is a template. So it even gives you a template of what this training re request form looks like. So this is something that it looks like, right? It has an executive stakeholder, which will be the person paying for it. Um, it might be your CISO, Chief Information Security Officer, or it might be your direct manager, right? The requesting department, the requester name, this might be your manager, your problem statement. You might say, hey, um, our organization or our group needs to learn how to do log analysis because we're receiving a lot of malware through our SIM solution. And we don't have someone who has these, what, the SOC 3 level um, abilities. So that might be your problem statement, right? And then you wanna go into what the topic is. So this is where you might list what that certification is and what you will get out of it, the business goal, kind of put some thought into this, right? Kind of Kind of put some thought into this and um, also go over that Glassdoor article that I'm referencing you. And then pretty much just fill this out, send in an email to your manager, absolutely, probably first have that discussion and then put this in the email to show how prudent you are or how proactive you are about really putting thought into this training. And then one thing that you can do is sit back and let the dollars flow towards getting that certification. So that's the last thing that I wanna leave with you as it concerns getting free cybersecurity skills. The first one is looking at what you wanna do in cybersecurity, making a list of the skills that you need and understanding where you currently are, then going to the internet, right? Looking at those different resources I provided, whether on YouTube, whether the Ropers, whether Cyberary.it, there are probably even more, but those are my top three. And also utilizing the organizations you work for in order to allow them to pay for your trainings, pay for some of those high ticket trainings. So that is what I wanna leave with you today. Thank you for coming along to Struggle Security YouTube channel where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. If you have any questions or concerns, please put them down there in the, in the description section or the comment section, and I'll do my best to respond to every single one of your comments. And before you leave, subscribe, hit the bell, and come back where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. Thanks.